Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see one of the productivity tool which is the most underrated tool which I would say from Microsoft. So it's nothing but Microsoft OneNote. So I'm just opening it. So I had been using Microsoft OneNote for the past uh, five years now. So it's it's very productive uh, when you use one uh, OneNote because most of the time what we do at work is you have a long pending um, notepad or a notepad plus plus file where you have lots of links, you have lots of steps uh, and stuff like that which is like accumulated in a single notepad or you have multiple notepads and then you go and check the links in one notepad, you have steps in one notepad and uh, you have organized them in a different different place right or different different folders right and when you want to search across them you cannot search right that's what happens when you have like notepad notepad plus plus files but uh, OneNote solves all those issues so let's see how it solves all those issues right so i've just opened um, i just installed OneNote in my, uh, my mac i haven't used it uh, in my mac for quite a while um, but i uh, i use it in my windows machine at uh, work so i have like a windows um, eight machine so i am using it in there so let's see uh, i have just installed it i'm just uh, doing a get started i'll show you how to use uh, one note and then what i do so right now it's asking me my <coughs> email address and for, uh, email address so let me enter this and then let me log into it and then let's come back so because i am i am not sure uh, if i remember the password right so i will have to try out uh, quite a few times so let's come back once um, I log in so I am logged in right now so I have uh, entered my account details and now it is asking me how would you uh, like office to look so I'll just say what is the classic look I'll just say colorful right so that we can see the difference between one note and other application so looks like it is all done yep it's pretty good actually so in windows i uh, you don't see these colorful uh, theme but um, looks like the mac version is better than the uh, windows version I, I feel like it's great now so let me maximize this yeah i think it's all done right cool so you have uh, something called as uh, notebooks so you need to understand the concept of notebooks pages and sections so there are three parts to a uh, notebook so you have something like uh, in one note so you have something called as notebook so you can have multiple notebooks so notebooks are like sim similar to a notebook or a diary which you have so you can have one diary and then you can have multiple chapters and then you can have multiple pages right so it notebook is something similar so you have something called as notebook so you can let's say if i uh, mark my notebook as a, a personal notebook right so then I can mark it as personal, I can have a separate notebook for personal and then I can have a separate notebook for work, right? So <clears throat> so if I say insert, I can see the different options which I can insert in a page, right? So let's say now I, I have uh, an option here. So I'm going to create a new notebook. So right now there is one notebook called my notebook, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use that. I'm going to create one called uh, um, tech primers, right, so, uh, for YouTube. Right, so I'm going to say tech primers, right, and I'm going to give some color. So I just want to give red because I use it for the uh, YouTube, right? Now where can I save it? So here there is an option to save it in OneDrive. So if you have an OneDrive account, you can use that to log into um, OneNote and then it will be saved there. And if you have the same app in your Android or iOS device, you can sync it from there. So literally you can access your notebook from any device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this uh, OneNote account here and I'm going, to, I'm going to use it in my Android mobile, right? So now if you see, I have a, I have created a notebook called Tech Primer. Okay, that is my notebook. So not, my notebook is done. Now the next section is the, the next one is the section. So if you see here, notebook is the first one. The next level is the section and then finally pages. So you can have multiple sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this section. I'm going to add one more section so you can add sections under each 
so you can have multiple sections so you can have something called as notes so i have one section called notes i'm going to add something called uh, um, uh, topics for um, videos so i'm going to have some something like that then i i am going to say uh, useful links okay so all these are different sections where i want to have some multiple pages so inside notes i can have uh, something like today what is the day today's uh, tasks so i can just have today's tasks so at work what i do i just mentioned tasks like creating uh, some request for some job to be done right so you can have multiple um, uh, tasks whatever you can have right so these are pages so you can have multiple pages under a section so if i say another uh, section so i can create something for uh, 17th august what what do i need to do or if i say i ha i want one more page i can add 19th august what no i need to do right so i can add some stuff there so if you see these are different pages so these pages are tagged under a section right so notes is a section and under that i have different pages right same way if you go for uh, topics for videos there is nothing here so i can have multiple pages here so i and, and if you see here i can even email this particular page i can attach uh, uh, I, I can attach files and the other beauty is you can type anywhere <clears throat> if you notice here you can type anywhere so that is why I like OneNote because you don't have to uh, go to the start of the line or the end of the line like how we have in notepad you can type any anywhere and if you notice it you have also have a audio recording and if you want to convert into a table by default it automatically does that when you do a tab so that is another good thing which I like about it so you just type something it automatically converts it into a uh, tab, table when you press a tab option right so that is pretty good I feel right so those are the different sections and um, uh, those are the different sections inside OneNote so you have a notebook section and a page and if you want to have a specific color to the page you can uh, add that so you, you have an option called paper color so you can change the paper color and then it changes the color of the background so you can have multiple um, you can have uh, different pages with different colors right so you can do that and if you want to draw something you can draw it so if you notice here you can draw something here you can do that right so that also gets saved by default there are lots of other options uh, you can extract text from an image if you have an image you paste that image here and without doing anything you can just extract the text from that image so that is another good feature about uh, OneNote. So that is, that is why I was mentioning that it is an underestimated software uh, for productivity increase. Okay. So I think uh, that is it. If you want to search across notebooks, right? So you can do a search here. So if you see, there is a search option here. And if I search for, uh, what did I say, some, I, I tried to type something inside the today's task, right? I typed a word called sum, and if you notice here, it is searching me there, and it is automatically suggesting me where it is, if I type ASD, so I think I had some pages with ASD, right, so if you notice here, it is automatically suggesting me all the pages, even though they are in a different um, section, if you notice here, this is inside the notes section, this is inside the topic for video section, so this is how you can easily search across the notes, so literally if you have multiple um, notepads when you were handling it you were it, it was difficult for you to search right so now with one note you have the single software where you can search across pages and you can have sections um, like based on your interest and then you can have a different color associated with it and you can just customize and then play around with it um, i use it day in day out uh, in my workplace so wherever i go i first install this particular software whichever company i switch to i, I just uh, i have been installing this software as my first daily driver because I need to uh, need a place to store some of my um, quick links or some shortcuts or some um, frequent visited stuff right so I use OneNote for that and um, you can also try it out um, see how the productivity is uh, I would say pretty it is pretty good compared to the notepad the usage of notepad or notepad plus 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 it is going to do the same thing but uh, it, it gives you lots of other features and then it is much better and even you can even send the send this particular um, page itself to somebody if you if you need and you can um, if you have outlook configured in your um, uh, workplace you can have add tasks 
okay and this task immediately gets displayed in the outlook as a pending item so you don't have to worry about linking those two they automatically get linked so that is another good part about uh, OneNote. So if you want to have any mail extracted into OneNote, there is an option inside Outlook. You can do a export to OneNote and then it gets saved as the OneNote, OneNote um, page. So, so that you can use it uh, for uh, future reference. So that is what I think I wanted to cover. Uh, I think I covered most of it. So as I said, uh, you, you can have personal notebooks, you can have multiple notebooks, you say more. You can add multiple uh, new other notebooks, you can, I can say personal notebook and then it, it will be separate. So you will have a different notebook and then you can have multiple sections inside them and same way pages uh, which are specific to the sections. So that's it for this particular video. Hope uh, I think you found this particular software interesting. Give it a try. Uh, do let me know how it was in the comment section below. Uh, meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.